Four years ago this month, a game called The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild came out. It's my favorite game of all time and a lot of other people's. Now, even though this game came out four years ago, there's still a ton of people don't know about it. What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to Mr. Plays, and today I'm giving you the top seven Breath of the Wild tips and tricks I'll make you a pro at The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Roll the intro. <laughs> Oh yeah, guys, now the first tip is to make sure you get yourself the Hylian Shield. The Hylian Shield is the best shield in the entire game with an absolutely insane durability of 900. You can use it throughout the entire game, it will never ever break, but when it does break eventually, you can just buy it again from someone in Terrytown for 4,000 rupees. Now, how do you get it? Well, first you have to head over to Hyrule Castle in an underground area, there will be a Stalnox. And once you defeat him, you will get yourself the Hylian Shield. Now I'm going to show you how to do it, um, but since I already got the Hylian shield from it it's not gonna i'm not gonna get out of chest when i defeat the stale knocks um and you can skip it by going to the time in the description below Now guys, the second tip I have is just to be on constantly fighting Lynels. Now the reason is, Lynels are actually really easy when you get used to fighting them, and they really sharp your, sharpen your skills. But I have a, a guide to beat them in the description or in the card in the top right corner. But either way, when you defeat a Lynel, you normally get an insane weapon to um, normally when you're fighting the silver or gold kind, but you still get a really good weapon no matter what. You get a ton of gems, which equals rupees. You sometimes can get star fragments, and you can also get a ton of shock arrows. And some to, like, um, once in a while, you even get a five times bow, and it guarantees a three or two times bow. Um, and if you fight a silver lionel, it's always going to be three times bow. So lionels are just such great ways to just get better resources, and you're also going to get really good at fighting them. So just be constantly fighting lionels. It really helps me a lot. If you are one of those people, guys, who are worried about durability, I'm glad to tell you that if you are on the back of a lionel, by hitting, when you hit the Lionel, it does not take up any durability at all. Or when the Master Sword is fully powered up, by holding R, then releasing it, you could shoot out beams of the Master Sword, which also doesn't use any durability. So this is good if you don't want to waste durability on weaker enemies. Um, and even for, like, Red Bull Goblins, you can even just use your Sheikah Bomb. So just make sure you don't waste your durability on useless things. 
Have you ever been climbing and you just don't have enough stamina to get to the top? Well, if you take a spicy pepper and shoot it with a fire arrow, it will create an updraft. Also, if you place some wood bottles down and then light those on fire, or if you're just on grass and you can just uh, light that on fire and it will create an updraft. And also, when you're climbing up, if you just have the tiniest bit of red stamina left and you jump then, um, it will create, um, it would be twice the actual size of a normal jump. So when you're climbing, just make sure you climb till there's the tiniest bit left. And then when there's the tiniest bit left, just jump. Do you want a really good weapon? Or you're running low on really good weapons, but you just don't want to fight anyone? Well, head over to Hyrule Castle, and there are just a bunch of good weapons laying around there. Like, there's some, there's a ton of royal bows in the kitchen, and if you really want to get doing a little bit of fighting, you can go down to downstairs, and if you do a little bit of silver marble in fighting, you can get some great royal weapons and royal guard weapons. There are also some even hidden weapons, I'm going to make a video out later, about, um, hidden weapons in Hyrule Castle, um, using your magnesis in the library. So there's just a ton of weapons scattered around that place that are really good, and you really don't have to do much fighting to get them. Do you guys really want a good horse, and you've been searching for one for a while, but you can't really find one that has, like, five stamina or something? Well, if you go just north to the Thunder Plateau, there's an area called the Upland Lindor, which is horses with the highest stats in the entire game. And if you have trouble catching them, a good tip is just shoot them with an ice or shock arrow, and you can get close. You can just walk up to them, wait for the, it to wear off, and then just um, and then just soothe them till you have the horse. It's just a really good way to um, get any horse in the game. And these ones have some of the best stats in the entire game, probably outside Zelda's horse and Ganon's horse the best. Now guys, this last tip is just more of a fun tip, but did you know that Ancient Shield from the Akala Ancient Tech Lab has the least amount of friction in the entire game, making the best shield for shield surfing? So if you are a fan of shield surfing, make sure you grab yourself the um, Ancient Shield, and it's just, it's you can literally um, ride with it on anything. It's insane. It's so fun. And it's also pretty OP for fighting guardians. Well, that's going to finish off for this video, guys. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new here, also consider subscribing. And comment down below any tips and tricks I missed. But until next time, peace!